This, we believe it to be necessary to uh, perform certain studies in that area, and we see that now the molecular mechanisms of uh, the pathogenesis of uh, cold is not well studied. So we set a few tasks, uh, goals, to study new ways of early diagnostics of cold degree and to optimize c the complex treatment of this category of patients. Everyone knows uh, well, uh, very well the systemic effects uh, of ozone therapy, uh, detoxification, and, uh, anti inflammatory, uh, vasodilatory, and others. And uh, we believe that these effects were needed to treat patients with cold injuries. So the goal was to improve the performance of the treatment of patients uh, in, with local injuries by using a systemic uh, combination of therapy. So we did a respective analysis. 291 cases were studied. And all these patients had suffered because of uh, low temperatures. Most of these patients came in in a late reactive period, uh, and most uh, most of them were not employed. In order to do an immune experiment analysis, we uh, evaluated the markers in the endothelium dysfunction area. This is an endothelial molecule with an adhesion of thrombosis selector ELP and uh, vascular endothelial growth factor. At uh, the Research Institute of Molecular Medicine and Pathobiochemistry, we also let the lymphocytary fraction register the blebbing of plasmical plasma lymphocytes. So we took a blood sample on day 1, 5, and 10. Then, in within one hour, we took the blood to the lab. Mix the blood with the phosphate buffer one to one ratio, and then we would put a layer of two lymphocyte of the blood in the phosphate buffer, and we did a centrifuging procedure. We isolated uh, the uh, cellular uh, ring of lymphocytes, and we would. Uh, uh, take the lymphocytes from them and we did a centrifuge procedure again then we did a suspension of the cells uh, we put them on a glass like this and to fix them better you can see intact lymphocytes and what they look like in microscopy under a microscope uh, the uh, initial beloved lymphocytes and the terminal beloved lymphocytes then we calculated the lymphocyte beloved index through this formula when patients came in in a pre-erective period, uh, the levels uh, of CT62, P62, CD62E, CG62L in the plasma of blood in the log at early periods was higher, and I indicate in the values were higher in the early reactive period, and it was in P that it was at its highest. When studying the blebbing of lymphocytes, we saw that it was higher at the pre reactive period and the early reactive period. The level of the thelium molecules of fortigen of thrombocytes was also there, it was also high. The object of the study were patients with local cold injuries. Uh, the frozen degree was at between 2 and 4 in the pre reactive period and early reactive period. It was 80 patients all in all, including males and females, aged between 20 and 60. Group number one included 27 patients who got the uh, standard basic treatment in the introduction of the standard adsorb uh, anatoxin T agregant anticoagulants, spasmolytic drugs, they were given antibiotics, they were given bandages, and sometimes uh, surgery was performed according to indications. The second group included patients who were receiving standard basic treatment and intravenous on zone therapy. And uh, ozonized oil was uh, used for the treatment of wounds. And the second group included 27 patients who were given standard basic treatment and the major auto chemotherapy with ozone. Now, the fourth group uh, was uh, the control. They were basically healthy people. Uh, ozonized uh, physiological solution was performed. Uh, manufactured on this device, a uh, major auto hemotherapy was performed on boson bacto device using special bags like this and the wounds were treated by oil O36000
Also, the patients who were had their microcirculation uh, state uh, started by this microcirculatory device. When patients came in, uh, we saw a familiar brand, a high factor, and uh, it would go down during the treatment. In the third group, it was as the most significant, uh, where major auto-hemotherapy was given. The level CG30 was studied uh, together with the ozone therapy. It went down, and the results were quite better than uh, as compared to the traditional treatment approach. As same trend is seen in the treatment of selectins uh, levels, CG62, I mean an LP. They became higher because of the treatment. And mostly it happened uh, during uh, the ozone treatment, when the ozone treatment was part of the, tr um, of the process. The blebbing of lymphocyte index was uh, studied in cold injury patients, and the treatment was the most effective in the third group of patients with the ozone, where major autohemotherapy was um, used. When treating these category patients, hemostasis was uh, uh, analyzed, coagulation, the number of uh, the platelets, fibrimogen, fibrimogen. These uh, values uh, were improved, uh, the number, uh, the time, coagulation time uh, improved, and the results were better when the ozone therapy was used um, as part of the equation. Also, the microcirculation state was uh, started, was activated uh, when the ozone therapy was part, made part of the of the equation better than in the traditional approach. The third group had the better results. <coughs> the best results. Whenever necessary, surgeries were performed on this patient, uh, and the first group had the highest number of amputations, uh, which uh, were receiving the traditional treatment. Uh, there were less complications in terms of the wounds uh, when. Uh, the ozone therapy was given. Secondary surgical treatment was also uh, performed uh, in uh, less uh, often in the second group where the ozone therapy was performed. The number of re amputations in patients with deep uh, cold injuries uh, was higher in the traditional group. So, cold injuries are relevant socially important uh, problems, and uh, cold injuries are make up the part of part of it. The structure of patients uh, have the prevalent number of uh, males uh, who are capable of working. Local cold injuries are accompanied by a high percent of permanent or temporary uh, incapacitation. The in-hospital uh, time was about 21 days. Also, the increase of CT31, CT60E, CT62P, CT60L, and the index of blabbing of lymphocytes in the plasma uh, and blood plasma becomes higher. Maximal concentrations of markers are registered at an early reactive period. Using medical ozone in the treatment of patients uh, with cold injuries uh, has a corrective action on the endothelial dysfunction occurring due uh, to cryo harm. Hypocoagulation effect is also there on the thrombogenic potential of blood. Also, it improves the microcirculation and re reduces uh, the in hospital time for patients. The optimal scheme for treatment for patients with cold injuries uh, as part of this uh, treatment would be the scheme based on using major auto hemotherapy with ozone as part of the basic therapy. Using optimized uh, combined treatment uh, allows uh, to significantly reduce the uh, local infection. Uh, uh, complications, uh, secondary surgical treatments and re-amputations in patients, and also it allowed to reduce uh, um, reduce the 22 bed days to 15 bed days spent at the hospital. Thank you very much for your attention. Questions? Anyone?
Thank you very much for your report. It's very interesting. Tell me, the ozone therapy, on the one hand, you have a physical solution or major autohemotherapy or the oil, ozonate oil. You did not group them well, I think. What gives the better thing? T tell me. The ozonate oil, which is a local drug, also on drug, would it be the systematic approach? If uh, you are in favor of ozonate, uh, now there are a lot of wound healing drugs out there. So I would like to hear some comparative opinion on ozonate, how effective it is in healing septic wounds. Uh, groups uh, 2 and 3, where the ozone therapy was implemented, uh, had the ozone, the oil, ozone oil, no differences there. The results of the three uh, regions showed that although hemotherapy had better results, it uh, had proven to be more effective. And these are the results. So you are more in favor of the systemic treatment. Oh, I'm talking about uh, the systemic uh, ozone therapy and major other hemotherapy are there. The major other hemotherapy group had better results. Now I'm asking this. I really want to understand how important systemic therapy is. Or is a local therapy more important? Both are important. One doesn't exclude another. Well, give me some percentage. Everyone has their own experience in the treatment of patients in different methods, different drugs, so you can say that the systemic ozone therapy or the local uh, treatment, uh, where we can say that one is better than the other because the local treatment can lead to some systematic approach, uh, complications like sepsis, endogenic toxication level, which are, would be high, so you cannot distinguish, you have to do a 100% of local therapy or 100% systemic therapy. These results are pretty good. Using major autohemotherapy or dripping systems, or maybe you could throw in some wound healing drugs, but not ozonate. The patients were given in one of the groups traditional treatments wherever possible. We applied the, the ozone therapy, but it depends on the wounds, whether it's stage one and stage two, depends on the proliferation. You have an individual approach to every patient. But we did uh, some selecting, and this is what our selecting has given us, which I have shown you now. So, okay, thank you very much. I have a question about the concentration. What would be the concentration of ozone in the physical solution? And in case, what would be the concentration in the major hemotherapy? In the physical solution, 2.4 per liter. In the major auto hemotherapy, there we used a concentration of 10 milligrams per liter within the 300 milliliters. So it would be 70 milliliters of physical solutions for 300, sorry, a zone uh, and oxygen mixture for 150 of blood. My question is like this. How did you select your patients? How did you group them? Because there are a lot of cold injuries. Sometimes you can have a frozen cheek and it qualifies as a cold injury. What are the ones shown there? Well, we provide emergency care, you know, medical care. So we selected our patients of, with uh, cold wounds uh, of the third and second degree. So we wanted uh, the patients to have basically the same cold injuries in terms of the uh, severity and comorbidity. So what was the criterion? The surface of the injury, the degree of the freezing, the severity of the patient's state, the endogenic intoxication state, the comorbidities, it was all in combination. Thank you very much. That's all for questions.